This is Professor Pete Alexander with the Winning a Business and Life podcast, where business leaders share their insights. It is six questions in seven minutes because successful business leaders are busy and rarely have more time to spare. So let's get to it. Question number one, in a few sentences, please tell me who you are and what you do. My name is Kevin Rustasy. I work as an HR uh, strategic consultant, and I look to help people, whether it's in business or their own personal lives, in any way that I can. Well, Kevin, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Question number two, what is something that makes you smile and or laugh about working in your industry? Something that makes me smile is really truly making a difference in someone in someone's day um, and enabling them to obtain whatever their definition of success is um, and helping them to identify their strengths and pull out their own leadership capabilities that they may have never known that they actually had. Mm, and that's pretty impactful. I can hear it in your voice. I love it. Question number three. I have a fictitious book with all the answers for business. What chapter would you think most companies should read? First, I'm going to say, when can I get my hands on that copy of that book, uh, <laughs> Professor Pete? Um, but I'm going to go back to, uh, I would like to write the chapter on kindergarten values, right? Um, mm -hmm. So, and that opens the, the doors for empathy, um, compassion, um, trust, um, and really self selflessness, I think, at the end of the day, and, and how we can share and, and, and work together and live by that golden rule. Mm, I love that. And once again, talk about having an impact there because uh, to going back to that kindergarten level, I love it. Question number four, other than the generic work harder, have a great attitude and care for customers, what advice or insight would you give to other business leaders? Business leaders, I think, need to look internally more than they do externally. Um, I think business leaders, um, we have a tendency to point the finger when things are going wrong, um, but then we have the, the same finger pointing back when things are going right. Um, so I think the ability for leadership to really check their ego um, is, is really that first step in of developing that trust and that uh, proverbial um, dream scenario of a culture that everybody is seeking to find. So I think when they start to look inward first and find who they are, um, they were going to unlock their potential and passion um, and really find their purpose. And when that happens, everybody is going to win. So I always say when leadership gets better, I think the community and the business community at large gets better. Um, so that's that's what I would say to that, Pete. Mm, I love that. And is there any particular way that you have found to uh, get leaders to ch uh, help them check their egos at the door? Cause that's a tall ask in many cases. It is, and that I get to do that every day. Um, so one of the things that I found is that there's a lot of opinions of what leadership or management is supposed to look like, right? Mm -hmm. We have, there's countless books, there's countless podcasts, there's countless coaches out there and they're all having different um, strategies as to how to become a more effective leader. Mm -hmm. I think at the end of the day, Professor Pete, um, it comes down and really boils down to, again, the individual leader themselves. Um, if they are needing to be told that they need to be a better person, you and I will collect their money all day and just tell them, hey, you need to be a better person. Um, and that's what it really boils down to, in my opinion, is, is, is that is unlocking the true potential of leadership and the ability to conquer your fear um, and stepping outside your comfort zone is the best way to really truly find who you are as a person. And once you find who you're a person, you're no longer acting and you can be transparent and build trust and empathy and really, again, lead your company forward, um, not only for how you got successful today, um, but it's going to carry you forward on how you're going to define success for tomorrow. Mm, very wise. Thank you so much for that. Question number five, what other business leader like yourself would you like to acknowledge and invite to be on my podcast? Business leaders, that's a good question. Um, some people that I have found um, very insightful, I would have to say uh, my friend, Dr. Nick Molinaro. Um, I think leadership, um, again, has had a lot of different opinions, but when we can start to apply data, um, we get to challenge some of those emotions. Um, and data I have found has brought transparency and honesty. Um, and Dr. Nick focuses on the mind of great leadership. And, and once mm -hmm. we understand how we were making decisions, in everyday scenarios under stress, we can unlock our true potential as well as the business's potential because we have identified how we're making those individual based decisions. So Dr. Nick would be a future fantastic guest on your show, Professor Pete. Thank you for that referral. I look forward to connecting with them. And our final question, question number six, please tell me about your first job. 
First job is probably why I'm so passionate about what I do in the HR community, because I think we can change the world um, through, through better HR and improve the, the business or the outcomes and definitions of success of our employees. Um, when we take care of our people, they take care of our profits. Um, and when we truly teach them as an asset. And my first job, which really um, allowed me the opportunity to see this full picture was, was bartending. Um, it allows us the opportunity to see all different types of, of walks of life, right? Yeah. We got to see the people that came in with the ego, the business owners who had was complaining about the same problems as the alcoholic at the other the, end of the bar that had been there since one o'clock right? And it allowed me to see that we're all the same. We all have the same challenges and we all have the same problems, but we all have different definitions of success and what we want out of life. Right. And I think leadership, um, that's really taught me a lot about leadership to ha have the ability to put myself in somebody else's shoes. And I effectively I touched on it earlier. I live my life by the golden rule. Um, and that's why I think people are, are attracted. And I think that you and I are then focused on the positive side of things. We're optimists rather than pessimists and, 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 and let that drag us down. So mm -hmm. I would say my first job as a bartender, being able to relate to everybody is, is really um, where, where I have um, found my foundation when I'm kind of focusing and, and looking for grounding um, in my own way. So mm. um, this has been a blast though, Professor Pete. Well, it's a great story that you share about bartending. And I especially like the, uh, the, the, the comment about the, uh, the positivity, because, uh, you know, as you, you, you alluded to, you know, when you send out that positive energy to the universe, you're going to attract that back. And what people don't, don't often remember is that it also works with the negative energy. When you send out that negative energy, you're going to attract that negative energy back. So wonderful, wonderful story. Thank you so much, Kevin. And thank you for being on the show. How can people find you? So they can find me on LinkedIn. Um, I'm starting up a new endeavor uh, to really help uh, chase that passion project. Um, so it's called the HR Evolution. Um, so www.hrevolutionary.com is how you can find me. But look for me on LinkedIn. I just spelled my name a little funky. It's just K-E-V-Y-N. So, <laughs> but Professor Pete, it's been a pleasure. I, I am so happy to have this opportunity to, uh, to speak to your audience and just learn from you today as well. Perfect. This is Professor Pete Alexander with the Winning a Business in Life podcast. Get hundreds of amazing business insights for previous guest episodes on your favorite podcast app. Thanks for listening.